I pray peace. I love Muslims and the preachers. But in country like India, multi-religious country, we all live together and go for a peace and for the brotherhood. But according to the current conditions, what is your message for brotherhood? It is my request to Dr. Jackie. Can you uh, introduce yourself, please? Your name, please, brother. I am an NSK from Bangalore, Karnataka, social worker. Actually, he is an MLA from Karnataka. Brother, we love you too. We love you too. Brother, there is a question that in this place of turmoil, it said about my message about brotherhood. And I did say in my talk, brother, I did give a few points that Islam means peace to humanity. It is a religion of universal brotherhood. That we believe that all human beings are brothers. In Islam, all human beings are brothers. Irrespective of the black or white, rich or poor, whether born in Hindu family or Christian family, we are brothers in humanity. And Muslims are brothers in faith. But all the human beings are brothers. And for this brotherhood, as I mentioned in my talk, brother, the only way, the best formula that all human beings can come together under one umbrella is to realize that our Creator, our Lord, our Almighty God is one. And this is the message not only given in the Quran, it is given in all the major scriptures of the world. If you read the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 7, verse number 20. It says, all those whose intelligence has been stolen by material desires, they worship any gods. It's mentioned in the Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number 6, section number 2, verse number 1. It says, ekam evidityam. It's a Sanskrit quotation which means, God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in the Shrita Shrita Upanishad, chapter number 6, verse number 9. It says, na cha se chasij janita na kadipa. Of him, there are no parents. He has got no Lord, Almighty God has got no mother. He has got no father. He has got no superior. It's clearly mentioned in the Ayurveda, chapter number 32, verse number 3. Na asti. Of him, there is no likeness. He has got no images. And the Brahma Sutra of Hinduism is, Ekam Brahm Dustya Naste. Niya Naste Kinchan. Bhagwan Eki Hai, Dusra Nahi Hai. Nahi Hai, Nahi Hai, Zara Bhi Nahi Hai. There is only one God, not a second. Not at all, not at all, not in the least bit. This is the same message given in the Quran in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Kul hu Allah ahad. Say He is Allah and only. Allah hu samad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam yulid, walam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Walam yakullah kufan ahad. There is nothing like Him. Brother, this is also mentioned in Christianity. I can give quotations from the Bible. I can give quotations from the six scriptures. All the scriptures say God is one. God has got no images, he alone should be worshipped, he has got no sons, he has got no mother, he has got no father. So if all the human beings realize that our God, our creator is one, then only can we have the true brotherhood. Besides this, there is no other formula. And as I mentioned in my talk, and which the Qari said at the beginning of the talk, Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, which says, Ya ayyuhan nasu, inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa wa ja'alnaakum shu'uba wa kaba'ila li ta'arafu. Inna karamkum in the law yatkaakum, inna law alimun kabeer. Which means, O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female. And have divided you into nations and tribes. So that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa. The criteria for judgment is not sex. It's not color, it's not caste, it's not wealth, but it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. So we have to realize that we have got one common grandparents and we are a big brotherhood. So the best thing is we should read other people's scriptures and come to common terms and based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, which says, Come to common terms as us and you. Which is the first term? Allah, na'udha illallah. 